Man, what's going on with y'all, man? Welcome back to the channel. Um, You know, what we're gonna get into today, um, we're gonna get into something that I really haven't talked about that much. Um, You know, in this time that we live in, now more than ever, and this is not just in your dating life, but in every area of life, you have to have leverage. And you know, leverage is one of those things where, you know, it's kind of like a negative connotation on it. Like, it's like, what you mean have leverage? Like what, that sounds destructive. That sounds to me. Nah, leverage is a good thing. Leverage is all about, hey man, stop what y'all doing, man, and go link to my Patreon, man. I got exclusive content on there because you know it's only a certain level of deepness I can go on YouTube. So make sure y'all go support and that link is in the description. Thing. Leverage is all about getting success and getting it efficiently and also protecting yourself. So it's good to have leverage because it, it's, it's efficient. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna apply that to dating now with women. So I'm gonna get into five ways to have more leverage with women. <clears throat> all right, so the number one way to having more leverage with women is having an abundant mindset. I mean, I can't preach this enough because when you're coming from a scarce place, a lot of times, man, you just, you're not gonna feel worthy enough. I remember, um, this had to be probably around like 2018. I had got a chick I was really, really, really attracted to, really, really attracted to. And at first I was maintaining my confidence, but over time I started to not feel worthy enough to be in her presence. And why was that? It's really because I didn't feel validated myself. You know what I'm saying? I didn't feel worthy enough. I didn't feel good enough. A lot of times, man, what you gotta understand is y'all can listen to me on YouTube all day, but you know what I'm saying? You can listen to me all day, but until you're truly abundant, these things won't really make sense to you because with a woman, a woman is gonna naturally expose that over time. Over time, as y'all start to hang out more and more, your real self is gonna come out. You really don't feel like you deserve this person or you really don't believe in yourself or you really ain't got no direction, you know what I'm saying? You're going to self-sabotage the situation because I did it millions and millions of times. So the way you think is, is just so important. Like, like shout out to Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. It all starts in the mind. Everything that was created in this world started in somebody's mind. This watch started in somebody's mind. This shirt started in somebody's mind. This camera I'm recording on started in somebody's mind. So your mind is going to be the starting point of all of this. You gotta get your mind right. You know what I'm saying? The thoughts that you think, what you think about yourself, how you see yourself. You, you gotta feel like you that dude. You gotta feel like a king. Because if you don't feel like that, <laughs> it, it ain't gonna work. All right, so the second way to have more leverage with women is by never overcompensating. And what overcompensating means is you're doing things in a subtle way to make up for what you lack. And let me say that again. You're doing things in a subtle way to make up for what you lack. It could be maybe you feel like this woman right here only wants guys at six foot three, right? And maybe you're like five, six or five, seven. You may try to, it can be anything. You may act extra arrogant because of it, or you may try to like have a certain attitude or maybe try to prove yourself to make up for the fact that you're not that tall. These are subtle things that go on. And a woman is gonna be able to pinpoint that because women are very intuitive. So with a high quality woman, she's not gonna wanna be with a man who thinks like that. You know what I'm saying? Because what y'all gotta understand at the end of the day, man, whatever you're overcompensating for, that's you shooting yourself in the foot. Because a woman is willing to work with you if you're working on yourself. But this is why it's so important, again, to work on all areas of your life. You know what I'm saying? Because so many times, man, I know people that, that's chasing the bag, but neglecting every other, every other part of their life. Or maybe they um, just trying to dress super good, but they're not working on their mindset. You know what I'm saying? They're not working on their purpose. So what you gotta understand is when you're working on everything, you're not leaving no room for you to overcompensate. And I feel like I used to overcompensate all the time. Like on dates, I would just talk about myself to make up for the fact maybe I didn't know what I wanted to do in my life. I didn't know what my purpose was. So for me to make up for that, I'll do things to hide the fact that I feel like I'm a lame dude. It's all about how you think about yourself. So if you think about yourself in a way where you feel like you're coming up short, you're going to try to overprove yourself in some other areas of your life 
to show that you're worthy enough. That's what overcompensating is. And you don't want to ever do that because once a woman picks that up, oh, she done lost all respect. She done lost all respect. It's over with at that point. All right, the third way to have more leverage with women is only dealing with high interest women. This is so important, man, because what I realized over the years is all the women that I chased, they didn't really have interest in me. They was giving me the runaround. They would never link up with me, or if they did, the conversations was dry, or from the start, you know what I'm saying, they was giving me maybes, I don't knows, and then after a month, after I didn't convince them for a month, they finally went out with me. And you don't ever wanna be in that position because when you're in that position, how you get somebody is gonna, how you're gonna have to keep them. When I say deal with high interest women, what I mean is deal with women that's giving you energy. So if it's online, right, or dating apps, for me, especially on dating apps, I may like a couple girls profiles, but for the most part, 90% of the time when I'm on these apps, I'm just seeing who likes me. I'm going off who likes me, I'm choosing from that. If you don't like who likes you, well that's a sign that we gotta continue to elevate ourselves. We gotta continue to, to, to be more physically appealing. You know what I'm saying? Work on that. Better pictures. So when you let people message you first online, Instagram and all that kind of stuff, then you're putting yourself in a position of leverage because you're dealing with the ones who like you. Also in person, like, you know, mate, like, and you know, there's a whole big thing out in the community about the, the choosing signals and stuff like that. I mean, that's cool. But in person, you know, just, you know, have more hobbies so that way you can interact with women. It's not more so you trying to go up and get the number and do all of this, but you know, if you're in that position to pull up on somebody, then do it confidently. You know what I'm saying? But also too, just let it be natural. You know what I'm saying? Learning how to, cause when I'm out in public, I talk to people. So I may say, hey, how you doing today? Hey, what's going on? You good? Like just talking to people so that way you don't have a lot of pressure talking to women. Dealing with high interest women is dealing with women who engage with you, women who make it easy for you, women who are not putting obstacles in your way, women who wanna see you, women who are not argumentative, women who's not trying to take lead and take control over everything. Those are women that you wanna deal with. And to do that, you need to become that man yourself. High quality women want masculine men. You need to continue to be chasing your purpose, having a bigger picture, having hobbies, having a productive lifestyle, learning how to prioritize, prioritize your time, learning how to do those things, getting mentors, masculine mentors. So when you do these things, you're gonna put yourself in a position to, to only be dealing with high interest women. Think about it, when you think about whoever, right? You think about Chris Brown, you think about Idris Elba. Well, I Idris is married. But when you think about men and that are the top men, they're not dealing with low interest. They're not dealing with semi interest. They're not dealing with medium interest. Those type of guys who don't have a lot of time are only dealing with women who are highly interested. And they're also only dealing with women who make it easy for them. So when you, you have to put yourself in a position of power and guys like that, high quality men that are at the top and doing their thing, they don't have time to deal with a woman who has super low interest. That, that's pointless. All right, the fourth way to have more leverage with women is by never compromising. Like, I feel like so many times in my life, I compromise with not only women, but with people in general. Doing things, even though I don't wanna do it. And you know, this is what I would be thinking, thinking that it's gonna make this person happy, or I'm gonna be able to get her now, or maybe she she's eventually gonna see my value. Let me keep, let me keep doing things I don't want to do. You know what I'm saying? Let me just do things I don't want to do and maybe me sacrificing by doing that, I'll get her. Hey man, a lot of y'all got that mindset, man. I know a lot of men, had, cause I had that mindset for so many years of doing things and hoping for this certain result. But in the same time, I'm demeaning my value, devaluing myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm making myself look bad, but really I'm not because that's the real way I think. I'm telling y'all, man, never compromise because at the end of the day, women don't compromise. Women go for guys that they like, you know what I'm saying? So when you really understand that, you have to do the same thing. Put yourself first, man. It's about putting yourself first. A lot of times when you're compromising, you're putting yourself last. You're putting everybody first with your own needs and your own wants. And you're thinking like, okay, let me make everybody else feel good and then I'll get myself in the end. So you thinking you're doing a, a deed and a gesture 
by doing that, but you really only playing yourself. You know, if she don't want you, move on. You know what I'm saying? Don't play yourself. Don't sit there and try to be like, oh man, well, I'll just be friends with her when you really want more. That's the problem. You're compromising when you want more than what's laid out. I'm not talking about the compromise when you're in a situation with a woman and maybe you gotta cook one, one day out the week because maybe she has to work late. I'm not talking about that type of stuff. I'm talking about your mores and your values. All right, and number five, this kind of goes in with dealing with the high interest woman, but number five is don't chase, attract. Um, and again, I kind of mentioned this early on, you don't ever want to be in a position of chasing a woman. There's nothing wrong with pursuing a woman because in the beginning, usually as men, you're going to have to pursue the woman to get it started, to get it going. But when you're chasing, chasing is when you're double texting, you're calling five times a day. <laughs> you keep asking her out when she said no. Those are the type, you, um, you're persistent. You're liking all her pictures on Instagram. You, you, you're always trying to talk to her on the phone, always trying to get her attention, always trying to prove yourself to her. You're thinking about her all the time. All of that is when you're chasing. You don't ever want to be in a position of doing that. You know what I'm saying? Take your time with women. You actually want to do the opposite. You need to be vetting the woman. Is this woman a good fit for me? Does she fit into my lifestyle? Is she interested in me? Does she support my vision? You know what I'm saying? What's her family like? How's her behavior when things don't go her way? You know what I'm saying? What are her mores? What are her core goals and values? Those are the things you need to be looking at instead of chasing her. You need to be saying, is she a fit for me? Because trying to chase and pursue, once you get her, you're going to still be chasing and pursuing. So these five things right here, man, are definitely valuable. These are things that I learned in my life, man. So they, you know, I know these things work, man, but you got to implement it into your mindset, man. So that's the video today for guys, man. I appreciate you guys for coming over to the channel. Guys, make sure you continue to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'm gone.